Good day everyone, this is Maggie B for Apps for iPads and I'm giving you your very first virtual look at a brand new, not even 12 hours old, Apple App Store application called Mr. Reader. Now this is an iPad app that synchronizes with your Google Reader account and allows you to quickly scan, read, and process all of your RSS feeds. Now yes, I know you've heard that before. We've actually reviewed other Google Reader applications and I have been using one faithfully for many many months but I'm here to tell you that this one Mr. Reader is heads and shoulders above the rest and it basically about half of the cost to me it's a no-brainer and it's one you need to check out so we're going to give you that virtual look today and as always we're going to jump right in here we do not script our videos and we're going to give you a look at Mr. Reader and tell you exactly why this is so much better than any other Google Reader application that is now on the market. The first thing I'm going to let you know is, and this is a biggie, is that Mr. Reader is going to allow you to completely manage not only your feeds, but all of your Google folders and all from within the app. So stay tuned with us. We're going to show you that a little bit later in the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump right in here now. We're going to show you, first of all, in the lower left-hand corner, this is where you're going to sync. You're going to bring in all of your new feeds. And if you're like me and get hundreds of them that you go through at least twice a day, then you're going to really appreciate this application. In settings, we're going to show you exactly what you can do, how you can control everything. You can control syncing, whether you do or not, how you do it or not, and you have everything at your virtual fingertips. You can control your images. Yes, your images. You can control whether you download them or not, the size they're downloaded in, and how you control your image cache. Yes, for offline reading. So everything that you have in your Mr. Reader app can be accessed anywhere when you don't have access to Wi-Fi and you control whether or not you want to see pictures during that time or not. Also in settings, you're going to be amazed at how many services are built right into this iPad application right down to and including Bitly or a custom URL shortener, which allows you that, to send Twitter tweets to your friends of your different um, posts in your RSS feed. And when you do that, it will automatically shorten the URL for you. We have three themes. I happen to have it on New York right now. We're actually on the East Coast of the United States, so that seemed apropos. But I also like how it's um, easier on my eyes. Uh, if you're Oliver, the developer, you might prefer the German version. And if you're in a car at night, you might prefer to do Paris by night for easy viewing. But you have the control as to how it looks. There are sounds, you can turn them off and on. And if they are activated, you can customize each individual one. Under miscellaneous, you can format the date, you can order your items, and you can tell it yes or no to ask before everything is marked as red. Also in settings, you have a direct link to the website. At, at Curious Times, and Oliver, the developer, who is very available for his users. We actually emailed him in the wee hours of the morning, New York time, and that would have been very early in the morning where there's six hour difference over in Germany. He got back to us almost immediately. This is now his full-time job and he takes it very seriously, and I am very confident he will be available when and if you need him. So going back into the application, you will see that you have everything here that you're used to seeing on a browser when you're in Google Reader. You have all unread items, starred items, shared items, which are things that you're sharing with your friends through, that you sync with through Google Talk. You have all of your folders. If you have folders that do not have, are not assigned to um, or if you have an RSS feed that aren't, it's not assigned to a folder yet, you simply tap, this is what I told you, you're going to be able to see, and I am going to move this, and I am going to put it right into 
a folder. It's as simple as that. We can never do that before. You also have the opportunity within the folders themselves to hold and tap and hold. You can rename or delete any folder at any time. You don't need to go back to a browser on your PC or Safari on your iPad and try to do it. You can do it all from within the application, which just makes life easier and puts everything that I want to do at my fingertips and it gives me the control to do things. So anyhow, I like to work with everything in my folders because going through hundreds of applications a day, it just makes it a little bit easier for myself. So we're going to just... Uh, Let's see if there's something in particular. I'm just going to pick something here. I just think so. I'm not familiar with what's on here right this very second. Here we go. Uh, let's check out this one and see what the heck is going on. It, uh, this particular RSS feed. And here you have the actual feed as the RSS feed. If you prefer to see it as a web feed, you can go directly to their website. And if you are on an iPhone, you can hit Mobilizer and it will activate Google Mobilizer and it will strip it down so that you get the best view on your iPhone device. So over here on the right hand side, we have all the normal icons. We have the star. We have the RSS icon which allows you to share the RSS feed with your friends through Google Talk. You can assign tags and that's a biggie. You know we star items and then we go back and look for them and if we don't have a way of hunting for them it makes it very difficult. So if you can assign a tag which is basically a keyword you can then very easily find what you're looking for. When you go through so many thousands in a week and you're storing things here and there, to me this is totally invaluable. If you hit the forward arrow, you find very quickly that you can open this RSS feed in Safari. You can copy the link, email the link, email the entire article. You can send it as a tweet. You can um, share it as a message on Facebook, Delicious, Pinboard, Zootool. You can save it in Instapaper, which is an invaluable tool. If you haven't looked into it, you really owe it to yourself to do that or you can use read it later. So you have lots of options available to you. If you go into any of your folders and you find that, okay, I don't need these anymore, you just hit the mark all is red, you tap on that, and that's all taken care of for you. It's very simple, everything is very clean interface, it's not cluttered, and it gets the job done. The last thing I want to show you, but believe me, I'm sure doing this on the fly, I always miss one or two things, so make sure you stop by the website and see the total article that we've read, um, that we've published. And if you come up here to the upper left-hand corner and tap on the plus sign, this is a great new tool. It's called Ad Feed. Now, if you already know a feed URL, you can just type it right into here. But if you don't and you're looking for more RSS feeds for whatever subject that you're looking to research or you're interested in, it's a hobby, you just want to keep on top of things, you just enter a search term into here. And Mr. Reader will go out and actually look for you and it will bring you back the best RSS feeds available for the search term that you sent. And then you just had, you just touch on them and add the feed right to your Google uh, Reader through Mr. Reader. This is an absolutely fabulous tool. You owe it to yourself now that you've taken a look. Stop by the website, see the full review, see all of the stats on it. Oliver has done a fabulous job and will continue to. There are actually a couple things that he's looking into for us. He's looking into seeing if there's any way possible to, when you share it on Facebook, to actually share it to a fan page rather than your top level, top level profile. He is looking to make the graphics um, a little clearer for some of us that uh, stare at iPads all day long. He is just very receptive to anyone's suggestions and I heartily endorse this application and suggest that you try it out. This is Maggie B for Apps for iPads. I look forward to seeing you on the website soon. 
Have a wonderful week. Talk with you later.